and gentlemen, welcome to Bikini Bottom. Today, we are going to be testing out some things that don't really have to do with SpongeBob. Hello, my boy. Like I said, though, today has nothing to do with my boy Sponge. Oh, oh over, over here. Okay, you know what, uh, Sponge? I'm sorry your house looks beautiful, but you are broken. Today, we are going to see who's the strongest kaiju. We've got Godzilla, King Kong, Mecha Godzilla, and we got some Pacific Rim creatures as well. But first, before we get into the Godzilla and all that, let me go ahead and walk you through the SpongeBob map. We got Sponge's house. As you can see, we got the TV playing and whatnot. It, 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 it's destroyed. Gary, you saw nothing. Anyways, let's go up to SpongeBob's room up here. And as you can see, it literally looks like SpongeBob's room. If you've seen SpongeBob, which you better have, bro, it's a classic. It pre pretty much looks exactly like it. Even the diving board above the bed, dude. I think that looks beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and go to my boy Squidward's house. And like I said, right after we do this, we're, we're going to spawn in Godzilla. So as you can see, walking into Squidward's house, we've got Mr. Squid here. How you, how you, I'm going to go upstairs, actually, in Squidward's house. We got a picture of Squid because, you know, he just loves himself. We got his nice bed right here, some plants next to him. And at the very top, there is his almighty clarinet, ladies and gentlemen. We could even pick it up. And actually, I, I think I'm going to hit Godzilla with this, so I'm going to take it. Yeah, let me go ahead and steal his clarinet real quick. Put that down. Close the door. Okay, broke the door. Uh, we're going to leave that there and hit Godzilla later. But for right now, we got to introduce you to my, to my man. Okay, I can't even pick up Patrick's door, so... I'm busting in. Wow, okay, I actually can't bust into his... I I'm gonna have to break it open. I'm so sorry. Patrick, you mean to tell me I can't even shoot my way in? Oh, here is one thing I can do. I can grab it and then peel it off like a, you know, like a hat or something. I don't know. Anyways, this is my boy Patrick's house. Look at him cheesing right now, bro. Okay, that thing is way too loud. Hello, Patrick. You wanna show us around your around your house? Yeah, Patrick just basically has a living room. I'm sorry, buddy. I gotta, I gotta go destroy Godzilla. Let me go ahead and close this bad boy. But anyways, like I said earlier, today is all about Godzilla and kaijus and whatnot. So let's start spawning some. For the first one, we gotta just have Godzilla out here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where he's going at the moment. Uh, Godzilla, you might want to turn around, big fella. Okay, now he's catching on. What we're gonna be doing is testing out who is the strongest kaiju in the game is a Godzilla who's already destroying me. Oh, by the way, I didn't even show you guys this. In my hand, instead of the sledgehammer, we have a jellyfish catching net. You don't really catch them. You just kind of break them like glass. Pretty much like I'm about to do to this man right here. Now, what's important is to find the right bullet for this. You know what I'm saying? What should we use to test who's the strongest kaiju? Like, what about some firework bullets off the rip? I'm just going to shoot a firework at Godzilla's neck. And how many of them does it take for Godzilla to drop? Let's see. That's a full... Okay, well, I missed that one. But right there, that would have been a full round of nothing but firework bullets. Maybe it take... Bro. Okay, we're on our second round of firework bullets. And it's not really doing much to Godzilla at the moment. I mean, we already knew Godzilla was going to be super strong. But, I mean, the fireworks are just doing nothing. Okay, so hold on. Let me shoot one more time here. Yeah, we're going to have to pick another ammo. Let's do something crazy. Like, maybe a... Maybe the laser one. Okay, let's go ahead and load that. Yo, Godzilla, can you give me a break? I don't know. I accidentally loaded something else in here, so we're going to figure that out in a second. Well, let's see. We got the, the laser cannon out of the, uh, out, out of the everything revolver. And it's still not doing anything to my man Godzilla. This guy's got plot armor. You already knew what was, was happening. Hey, yo, you did not have to destroy Squid Squidward's entire crib. Okay, you see, this video isn't about me today. They're not really trying to... Well, they are trying to destroy me, but it's not about a story, you know? I'm not trying to escape them. We're just trying to destroy them, and we're not doing a lot of damage here. Has the everything revolver finally failed us? What about lightning, though? That's my favorite one. So let's see if that destroys Godzilla. Oh, my goodness. It's not. It destroyed more of Squid's house. But in the meantime, bro, Godzilla, he is still standing tall. You know, let's put somebody else in. What about my boy Mecha Godzilla? I don't remember if he was, like, destructible or not. This would actually work in Godzilla's favor, if so. But let's go ahead and see. What should we use as an ammo type here? Let's try firework just like we did with Godzilla, just to see if Mecha Godzilla's strong. All right, hey, yo, Mecha G, can you back it up for a second, brother? I, I just need to... All right, you know what? L let me just create some space real quick like we normally do. And then my boy can just get obliterated. Let's see what it can do with the firework. Okay, well, um, <laughs> it didn't really do much. And no, this is not the destructible version of Mecha Godzilla. What if we just spam Mecha Godzilla with the firework? Let's see. I mean, it should be doing something. You know what I'm saying? He's like mechanical. It's not, it's not shortened circuits. It's doing nothing. Okay, wait a minute here. I think I have a good one for Mecha Godzilla. If y'all remember the RC car, when we used it on the dinosaurs, let's just see. I'm going to turn it around. Boom, right to the belly. 
and it didn't do anything. What if I shot multiple? Okay, you can't shoot multiple, but right to the face, absolutely nothing. What about to the cheeks? Let's see. Yeah, I mean, once again, the RC car, no, none of these, you know, bullet types are doing anything to these guys you. This is kind of odd here. What about a pyro cannon? Isn't this just nothing but fire? Let's see what this does. I mean, he's metal. I, I don't even know if he could catch on fire, but yeah, he's doing absolutely nothing, bro. The everything revolver to some kaijus, they, they don't do much. Okay, what about a black hole round? Surely the black hole is going to do something, right? Let's see. I'm just going to launch a black hole at my boy Mecha G and see what happens. It, it, it literally did nothing. What if I shot multiple at him? That's four or five black holes. Once again, doing absolutely... It went right through Mecha G. All right, what about some explosive stuff? We're taking out explosive rounds here. And I, I, I forgot last time all it did was explode my gun. So yeah, that didn't do anything either. What about a grenade ammo? I don't know if I have to like aim this pretty good for it to... Oh, wait a minute. That might be doing some good. Hold up. Wait, it's ricocheting all the way. Where's it going? Nah, bro. Somebody let me know what would be the best for Mecha Godzilla. What about a rail gun? I don't think I used this last time. Ooh. That feels like it's doing some damage, but at the same time, I don't think it is at all. Like, Mechagodzilla is still over here just standing strong. He's wiped out both Patrick's house and Squidward's, but kind of left SpongeBob, so thank you for that, sir. But at the same time, the railgun, it's not doing anything to my boy. What if we try Kong? I mean, I'm dead anyway. All right, we've got Mr. King Kong here, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I think he's gonna be the weakest, mainly because he's destructible in this game. Meaning that, um, you know, when I shoot anything at this guy, he's gonna lose some body parts. Like, for example, which one should we choose first? I don't know. Let's do, let's do a duck shot. I feel like that's not gonna do much. But I mean, for a first shot, let's see. Straight to the leg. And it did a little bit of damage. You can see it took off a little piece, but not too much. The duck shot, kind of cheap. We've got a frost that we can kind of, you can freeze him with. Uh, we got, well, what about a time? Is that gonna like reverse time or something? Hold up. Let me shoot it at him. What, what is that doing? Um, did it just take its time to go hit him? So you mean to tell me I just shoot it and he basically has to run into it or it doesn't do damage. Okay, that's buns too. That's it. I'm doing something crazy. What about the lightning round? I feel like this one to Kong is going to do a lot of damage. I'm going to go for the legs. Let's see what happens to him. Yep. All right. Well, to the legs, it does a good amount of damage. But what about if we keep going up to the head? We can go to the... Oh, my goodness. I, I still have five more lightning bullets. So we're going to see how much damage all of the lightning rounds really do here. And then we're going to compare of how they really did to you know, Godzilla and Mega Godzilla. As you can see, I'm on the second to last bullets. And um, my boy King Kong, he's pretty much gone. The lightning rounds have obliterated King Kong. There we go. I'm out of ammo, but I'm also out of Kong. By the way, look at the bro. These bullets are still sitting here. Uh, okay, that one is pointless. Off to the next monster, which just so happens to be this man right here. We got Leatherback from Pacific Rim. Now, do you think that... Wait, Leatherback has an atomic breath? What is that? All right, well, that's news to me. Um, who do you think is going to be stronger? The Pacific Rim universe, or do you got the monster verse? Let me go ahead and take out the revolver. And let me load it up with... I'm going to go like... What about Ricochet? I don't know what that means. Is it just going to bounce off of him? Let's see. Okay, it bounced off and almost hit me. That was disrespectful. Wait, is he destructible too? I think he is. I'm not sure. Well, a good way to see would it be to take out a minigun inside of a revolver and just chop his toes down. Let's see. I'm not thinking. Oh, it is. Okay, so Leatherback is destructible as well. So really, all we need to do is take out a leg. But I'm just going to I'm going to shoot the stomach first. Let's see what it can do if we do all types of damage to the belly region. It's not really showing much damage. It's doing a little bit. But I think you already know what we have to take out here to do the damage we need to do. Let's load it with lightning rounds and see what we can do to my boy Leatherback. As you can see, like a bunch of his uh, his body parts are falling off of him. Um, I think we're doing some good with the lightning cannon. And yeah, I, I think Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla are definitely in the lead right now. I think we got a couple more Pacific Rim guys to go. But as you can see, my boy Leatherback, he's pretty much dead. I don't want to disrespect him that bad, though. We got to finish off Leatherback since he is destructible. What about a cannonball? I don't know if this is going to do anything to Leatherback. It literally broke the cannonball off of his jaw. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Leatherback in the face region, kind of strong. What about the belly? Yeah, okay. Cannonball's kind of buns, too. How about we load this bad boy up with some C4 rounds? I, I don't know if that's going to be like I shoot it and I have to. Yep. Okay. 
You know what? Let me shoot them all in the air and just explode them onto... Maybe that's what we should be doing with Godzilla. See, I didn't try the C4 rounds last time, but it sticks onto them, and then you could just let it rip. Okay, that might do the, that might do some damage to my boy Godzilla. I can't tell you one thing. This man Leatherback's face, like I said earlier, it is just indestructible. I am attaching all types of C4 to him, and it's doing literally nothing. You know what? Let's stop messing around. What if we took out a mega gun and we switched it to the mini nuke ammo type? Let's see what happens when we when we do that. Okay, yep, yeah, it absolutely tears through Leatherback, but at the same time, look at his head. It is still alive. Well, not necessarily alive, but it's still all intact. And after this, bro, if it's not destroyed after this, I'm gonna be very impressed. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed. It is still sitting here. What about this ammo type? Not the mini nukes, but just the miniature ammo. Yeah, still absolutely nothing. It's all intact. Enough of the kaijus for right now, though. What about this man? We got Gypsy Danger, and I think his foot is stuck. And he also has a working cannon. I did not even... Okay, his foot is out now. But he does have a working cannon. So he could easily obliterate us if he wants to. I don't, I don't know if he's looking for me or not. Let's see. Hello. Hello, Gypsy. I don't think he's trying to destroy me. I think he's just mad at SpongeBob for whatever reason. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if my boy Gypsy Danger is destructible or not. Wh which one should we start with? Maybe some acid? Let's see. I'm just going to shoot his toes with some acid and see if he's destructible. Um, I think he is, because it looks kind of weird over here. Yep, let's get the acid out of there, actually. And let's go ahead, actually, let's put in two bounce pads. And for the rest of them, we're going to put in shotgun rounds. So I can do a little trick shot on my boy. I'm going to shoot the bounce pad on the ground here. Launch into the sky, hit a little 360. Okay, well, I mean, he's a little too big for me to be hitting jump pads and doing anything. But as you can see, the shotgun does do a little bit. Definitely not enough. So let's do the RC, actually. Now that we know this guy's destructible, let's launch an RC all the way up to this man's noggin. Oh, this is this is trippy. You know what I'm doing, though? We're launching the RC all the way up to Gypsy Danger's face. And we're going to see what happens. Right to the back of the head. Oh, my goodness. I just took out Gypsy Danger on the back of the noggin. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me get out of the way. Let me get out of the way first. Ooh. Okay, I almost got destroyed by Gypsy Danger's body. Look at his noggin still up there, dude. One RC car? Wait a minute. Gypsy Danger, are you serious right now? You mean to tell me you got destroyed by one RC car? The rest of them, we can just keep shooting. And we can destroy the rest of them. But he only, he only needed one RC to be able to be destroyed. Hey, so I'm not gonna lie to you. My boy Gypsy Danger was kind of weak. We're gonna go ahead and play some C4s all over this man and see what happens. Oh, I forgot that we can shoot multiple like this. We can literally just keep on shooting C4s because we can just keep reloading. Pack as many as possible and then blow them all up at the same time. Oh, this is about to be absolutely insane. I wonder how much of Gypsy Danger's body is actually still going to be here when we blow them up. I mean, surely not a lot, right? I probably have I probably have at least like 50 to 60 C4s on him right now. So there's actually no way that he doesn't just get fully obliterated. Uh, look at all the C4s, dude. They're, they're quite literally everywhere. And actually, maybe this is what we need to do to Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla just to see who gets dropped off first. We can put like the same amount of C4s on each. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's let it rock and see what happens with all of the C4s. Yo! <laughs> That was actually beautiful, but wait, the C4s are coming back at me now. And they're going to start exploding towards me. Now, back up, bro. Okay, all of the C4s, I think, have exploded. There we go. And look at Gypsy Danger's body. I mean, he was pretty much, yeah, obliterated. Okay, we have to try that to Godzilla. What was it again? The C4 rounds? Yeah, let me get the C4 rounds back out and see if it can do anything if we just load up Godzilla with C4. The only problem with some of them, they kind of like, if it, if it explodes right next to another one, it'll like launch the C4 somewhere else. Like a few of them almost hit me. Let me just load his tail up real quick. He's about to take out Squidward's house. Squidward, I'm so sorry, buddy. Here, have a C4. I don't think Squidward wanted that, but he's, oh yeah, I probably shouldn't have threw that. He's gonna be really feeling it here in a minute. And I think Patrick's house is about to get taken out too. Pat, buddy, this isn't my fault. Here, take a C4 as well. I'm just going to put C4s on everybody's crib. Also, you know what, Sponge? Take a C4 as well. I did not. Oh, I did press it on accident. You know what? Let's just see what happens. It was all over his tail, but it didn't really do anything to him. Okay, yeah, I'm not thinking that Godzilla is destructible by at least the revolver. You know what, though? I did attach him all to his lower body. What if we did it all to his upper body 
and see if that does anything different. L let's just try that. All right, well, I've officially done it. Look how many C4s are on this man Godzilla. Are you kidding me? You're gonna destroy more of Squid's house? All right, I'm just gonna let it loose. Let's see what happens with all of the C4s on Godzilla. Did we take them out? I think we've done it, and it actually didn't take that many. It's still going, but I think Godzilla has bit the dust. Unless he hits an atomic breath, then he's still alive. But for right now, I don't see an atomic breath, ladies and gentlemen. My boy Godzilla has bit the dust. And actually, you know what I totally forgot to uh, see about? King Ghidorah. I don't know how I forgot about this, but we're going to use the Evolver one last time here and see what the C4 can do to my boy King Ghidorah. He's supposed to be the strongest, you would think, just because of how much body mass he has in this game. You know what I'm saying? So let's see if the C4... I didn't even mean to drop. I, 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 whatever. Let's just do it again. Let's see how much C4 we can even put onto King Ghidorah because he has all the wing space. Yep. Is it even sticking to him? Wait a minute, bro. The C4s aren't even sticking to King Ghidorah, but they do stick to his chest. So let's just see how many we can put on his chest and then I, I guess just see if it uh, destroys him. I got the infinite C4 glitch right now. All you got to do is keep clicking reload and it'll just keep spamming the C4s, hitting myself with a revolver in the face. But as you can see, we have, I would say, enough C4, right? Let's see what it does to King Ghidorah. Is it going to destroy him or not? Hey, if this doesn't destroy him, he's definitely stronger than Godzilla in this game. Bro, it's lifting him up off the ground. And I think it did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have also defeated King Ghidorah. He's just face planted in the dirt. All right, last up is Mecha Godzilla. We saw him earlier, but we did not use the C4s like we've been using on the other Kaijus. So it's only right that we just spam this man with absolutely nothing but C4s and see how much it would take to destroy him and see if it would destroy him in the first place. Because if it doesn't, Mecha Godzilla definitely wins today's challenge. But if it does destroy him, nobody wins. Well, technically, somebody's got to win strongest of the day. So you guys let me know who is the strongest out of the Kaijus you saw today. And yeah, first, let me just cover Mecha Godzilla with some C4. All right, I would say that's enough for Mecha Godzilla. Look at all the C4. And he just, he just absolutely obliterated SpongeBob. And now I'm about to absolutely obliterate him. Let's see how much C4 would be able to destroy Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla. Um, I think we got him. Unless we see an atomic breath. Yeah, his lights are shut out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have destroyed every kaiju on the day. But which one did you think was the strongest? Let me know in the comments. One more C4 for the road. I love you guys. Goodbye.